Hello everyone. In this lecture today, I'm going to talk to you about Cox postulates. Okay. Uh, so Cox postulates were formulated by German physician uh, Robert Cox and Fr Friedrich Loeffler in 1884. And later on, it was refined and published by Robert, Robert Cox in 1890. Okay. So Cox postulates are called Co Cox postulates because uh, Robert uh, Koch was involved uh, in, in, in formulating these, these postulates. So Koch applied the postulates uh, to describe uh, the etiology of cholera and tu tuberculosis. So initially Koch, Robert Koch applied these postulates to de describe the etiology of cholera and tuberculosis. Uh, there are four postulates uh, in, in, in Koch's postulates and these postulates are designed to establish uh, a causative relationship between a microorganism and a disease. Okay, so basically, what this Cox postulate de 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 determine or established? Uh, basically, these Cox postulates they established a causative relationship uh, between microbe and a disease. Okay, so microbe and a disease. So this is a Cox. Mm, this is the, this is the major aim of the Cox postulates. Okay, so basically, what are these four different uh, Cox postulates that I'm going to discuss here. So the first uh, Cox postulate is that the microorganism must be found in abundance in all organisms su suffering from the disease, okay, and should not be found in healthy organisms. So as you know, Cox postulates, postulates they describe the relationship, causative relationship between the disease and the causative agent. So first, Cox postulate state that microorganism must be found in abundance in all organisms suffering from the disease but should not be found in healthy organism. So this is the first point of Cox's postulate. So let's take an example here. Here we have diseased mice. Okay, So this is the diseased mice and this is the healthy mice. So uh, from the, in, in the diseased mice when we, when we um, isolate its, its, its blood or when we, when we check, when we analyze the diseased mice, let's say, then we can find the sus suspected pathogen okay, in abundance in, in these diseased mice, but here we don't have any suspected pathogen uh, when we analyze the healthy mice. So uh, the first point of Koch postulate is that the, uh, the organism must be found, okay, the microorganism must be found in abundance in all organisms suffering from the disease. So this mice is suffering from the disease, that's why we find the suspected pathogen or the microorganism, but this mice is healthy, that's why we don't find suspected pathogen or microorganism. So this is the first point of Koch's postulate. Okay? And so the second point, the second postulate, second Cox postulate is that the microorganism must be isolated uh, from the diseased organism. So microorganism must be isolated. So we should be able to isolate the microorganism from the diseased organism and it can be grown in the pure culture. So what does it mean? So it means that uh, from, this, uh, from this diseased animal, so we, we should be able to uh, isolate the microorganism or this is suspected pathogen and this pathogen uh, when we when we culture in let's say a, let's take an example as in agar plates then it, it must be grown okay it must grow in the agar plate so uh, this is the second point whereas in case of healthy organisms since there is no microorganism so we will not have uh, the growth of microorganism in the agar plate so what is the second point of Cox postulate? This, the second point of Cox postulate is that the microorganism must be isolated. So we should be able to isolate microorganism from the disease, disease animal. So disease animal, we should be able to isolate the microorganism. And this um, organism, uh, um, we should be able to grow it in, um, it in the pure culture. For here we have shown uh, in, the, in the agar plate. Okay. So this is the a second point of Cox postulate. So now, Coming to the third point of Cox postulate, so what does it say is that the cultured microorganism should be able to cause disease when introduced into a healthy organism, okay? So we, we isolated the microorganism from disease animals, so we have here microorganism uh, in, the, in, in, in the culture plate. And so these uh, microorganisms, the isolated microorganism uh, from the diseased animal, when we inject or inoculate this in the healthy animal, 
this should be able to cause a disease to that that animal so this is the point number three of cox postulate so what does it say it said that the microorganism the cultured microorganism for example this is the cultured microorganism we have here and this cultured microorganism when we inoculate into the healthy animal here in healthy mice so this microorganism should be able to cause diseased mice okay should be able to cause disease in the mice so this is the point number three of cox postulate okay and finally uh, the fourth postulate, fourth, fourth point of the Cox postulate is that the microorganism must be a re isolated from the inoculate diseased experimental host and identified as being identical to the original specific causative agent. Okay, so what does it say? So after we have in after we have inoculated this uh, microorganism cultured, um, uh, which which was originally isolated from the diseased animal and now these the, the new host animal the healthy host has become diseased and we should be able to isolate we should be able to isolate these um, this microorganism and this microorganism should contain the suspected pathogen or the, sorry this animal should contain the suspected pathogen uh, suspected microorganism and and it, it uh, in, the, in the experimental host and it should be identified as being identical so when we um, play the culture so it should be identified as being identical to the original uh, original specific causative agent so what does the fourth point say it's the fourth point says that the microorganism must be re-isolated from the inoculated diseased experimental animal here uh, we in this is the inoculated diseased experimental animal so we should be able to re-isolate the microorganism as you can see here and so this can now be cultured and it should be it should be identical to the original original causative agent that we had here so where, where the, the original causative agent is here right so this is the original causative agent right so it should be identical to that uh, that is the uh, statement so that that is the that 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 is what this point number four uh, of the cox postulate says okay so these are the four different cox postulates however uh, there are limitations to this cox postulate so major limitation of cox postulate is comes um uh, to the virus because many viruses do not cause illness in all infected individuals uh, which is a requirement of postulate one from cox postulate so that's why the viruses um, are the limitations of cox postulates for example as an example polio virus which causes paralytic disease in about one percent of infected people a uh, further compromising postulate one is the fact that the infection with the same virus may, may lead to different disease or with different viruses might cause the same disease so this is uh, one and the another point is that the postulates number two and three cannot be fulfilled for viruses because they do not replicate in cell culture right so they do not replicate in cell culture and or um, or for which a suitable animal model has not been established so basically the virus do not replicate in cell culture or virus do not replicate in suitable in in um, virus do not re we will not be able to replicate virus if there are not already established animal models so the limitation of cox postulates is applied to viruses so cox postulates cannot be it cannot be applicable to many viruses okay so that is the limitation so finally a question time guys so a uh, generally cox postulate postulates are not applicable to uh, number one bacteria number two virus please leave your answer in the comment section below and and uh, please don't forget to subscribe our channel to support us. Thank you very much.